We are in Chapter 7, Calculus of Several Variables, Section 7.1, Functions of Several Variables. First thing is we have dealt with cost, revenue, and profit with one variable. However, many companies produce more than one item at different prices. For example, a cost function with one product, X, is written as C of X, and the cost function with two products, X and Y, will be written as C of X comma Y. And we can have more than just X and Y products. We can have X, Y, Z, or additional variables in there for additional products. So a lot of useful information in here in regards to companies, because most companies and business applications, they're not just producing one single um, product. So next thing it says is functions of two variables. Z equals F of X, Y, is a function of two variables. X and Y are independent variables and Z is our dependent variable. We have a domain is going to be the set of all order pairs X, Y such that F of X, Y exists and the range would be the set of all of our Z values or F of X, Y. So for this you can see on the right we have three different axes and this is going to be a three-dimensional shape. And so we have an example right below that says let f of x, y equal 2x squared minus 3y plus 7. Find the following. So the first thing that we have is f of negative 1 comma 2. And so negative 1 is our x value and 2 is going to be our y value. And we're just going to substitute that into the function that's given up above. And we have 2 times x and x again is negative 1. And that's raised to the second power minus 3 times y, which is 2, plus 7. And so working this out, we have 2 times 1 minus 6 plus 7, or 2 minus 6 plus 7, which is negative 4, plus 7, which is 3. Likewise, part b says f of negative 4 comma negative 5. So again, x is negative 4, y is negative 5. And substituting those into our function, we have 2 times negative 4 squared minus 3 times negative 5 plus 7. And then working this out, we have 2 times 16 plus 15 plus 7. Or 32 plus 15 plus 7. And adding up all those values, we get a total of 54. The last one that we have is f of h plus 1 comma 2. So y is just equal to 2, but this expression h plus 1 is equal to x. So we're going to have 2 times x squared, and instead of x we have h plus 1, minus 3 times y, which is 2, plus 7. And so now multiplying this out, we have h squared plus 2h plus 1 minus 6 plus 7. From here, we can distribute that 2. And we have 2h squared plus 4h plus 2 minus 6 plus 7. And so combining our like terms, we have 2h squared plus 4h. And then we have 2 minus 6 plus 7, which would be positive 3. So right below that we have another example. This example says that a population that grows exponentially satisfies P of A comma K comma T, which is equal to A E to the power of K times T, where P is the population at time T a is going to be the initial population when time t is zero, and k is the relative per capita growth rate. The population of a certain country is currently 5 million people and is growing at a rate of 3% per year. What will the population be in seven years? Since P is our population and we're dealing with millions of people, I'm just going to say let's let P be measured in millions 
of people. And so we know that A, the amount of people that we currently have is at 5 million, or just 5 since we're expressing our amount, our population to be in terms of millions. And our population is growing at a rate, K equals 0.03, or 3% per year. And we're wanting to know what the population will be in 7 years from now. So our time would be equal to 7. And so we have to find our population when our amount is 5 million people, our rate is 3% or 0 0.03, and our time in years is in 7 years is when we would like to know what the population will be. Substituting everything into my function, we have 5e e to the 0 0.03 times 7, or 5e e to the 0 0.21. And working this out on your calculator, you get 6.1684. And so we know in seven years, the population will be 6.1684 million people.